Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is always designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls on the bright side. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or help a loved one or workmate or friend or family member wean themselves off their medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products or skin health or ingredients or something you may have read about or heard about and you want clarification, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number if you want to just contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story you'd like to share. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program, you can head over to my blogs, criticalhealthnews.com and brightsideben.com and also pharmacistben.com. You can also order products by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and start a longevity business. Make some money selling longevity products or just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. And the phone team number is 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of my skin health products, truth treatment skin health products, including our retinol 5% gel, no preservatives ever in truth treatment products. No waxes, no fillers, no fragrance. Just the stuff your skin uses and needs. The 5% retinol, our 5% retinol, the truth retinol gel is also made with a big old dose of premium, stabilized, lipophilic, powerful, and effective vitamin C. And folks, you're not going to find that anywhere. Or you're not going to find 5% retinol anywhere, first of all. You'd be lucky if you find 1% retinol. And guess what? With the truth retinol gel, no irritation. How do you like that? Some folks even use it every day. Not that I recommend that you use it every day, but certainly you're not going to have any irritation if you use it once or twice a week. All right. If you, oh, by the way, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com if you want to purchase any of the truth treatment products. So we've been talking skin health and pigmentation now for a while. We've touched on the various elements that are involved in keeping the skin healthy. We've talked about the digestive system. We talked about nutrition. We talked about the stress response, but we haven't really addressed the major mediating force, the major control point of skin chemistry, and really the major control point when it comes to all biochemistry, and that is the hormone system. Yes, it's true. We talked about specific hormones, and we talk about specific hormones a lot. We talk about thyroid hormone a lot, and thyroid hormone is unbelievably important for the skin. Thyroid hormone is involved in moisturization of the skin and the skin's resilience and the skin's robustness and responsiveness to the environment. Hypothyroidism will cause dry skin. Hyperthyroidism will cause oily skin. We've talked about cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. The body will break down and the skin will break down under conditions of elevated cortisol. Elevated cortisol is way more significant as an, a skin aging factor than, than anything else, really, than any preservatives in, in skincare products or in, uh, in any, really any skincare products, period. 
The hormone cortisol is a, uh, said to be a catabolic breakdown hormone. And when you have wrinkles and you have hyperpigmentation and you've got poor wound healing, and you have eczema, psoriasis, really any skin issue, you can rest assured cortisol is lurking behind. We talked about aldosterone. Stra the, the little known stress management hormone, your mineral hormone, the hormone that's responsible for high blood pressure, or partially anyway responsible for high blood pressure. Aldosterone is also a skin hormone because it can cause puffiness of the skin. Interestingly, aldosterone has been shown to stimulate or enhance wound healing. But we haven't really talked about the nature of hormones, what they are in a general sense, and in a general sense, how they work. Now, the word hormone certainly is one that we've all heard of. The word hormone has been in the American health lexicon for a little over 100 years, and it's become especially popular over the last 40 or 50 years. It became really, really popular in the 60s. A book called Feminine Forever was written by a doctor, I forgot his name, from New York City, and he, he hypothesized that by using estrogen, you could stay feminine forever. Um, and since then, pretty much, hormones have been in the in the news and in the press and is, have, have glibly rolled off the lips of medical professionals for decades now. You hear women talking about their hormone problems. Doctors will say hormones are responsible for your health issues. Sometimes they don't even know what they're saying. People talk about hormonal acne and hormonal balancing and hormonal testing and hormonal replacement and bioidentical hormones, but what exactly these vital, critical biochemicals are remain for most of us somewhat of a mystery. So for the next couple of days, at least, I want to talk a little bit about hormones in general, what exactly these things are and why they are so important. So when your doctor says, oh, it's your hormones, or when your friends say, oh, my hormones are messed up, or I'm on bioidentical hormones, or it must be my hormones, you'll know what they're talking about. Sometimes people tell me their health issues or their skin problems are hormonal. I hear skincare professionals say this all the time, hormonal acne. What does that mean? Everything is hormonal. Nothing happens in the body without hormones. So what does that really mean when you have a hormonal condition? So to understand the importance of hormones, you've got to understand about the two most important classes of chemicals in the body that are associated with activity. You have two major activity chemicals. There are the enzymes and then there are the hormones. Those are the two major classes of chemicals in the body that are involved with action activity. Enzymes are the life. Enzymes do all the work in the body. No enzymes, no life. And this is why, in my opinion, enzyme supplementation is getting ready to be the next big thing in health and nutrition. Mark my words, you are going to start to hear more and more about enzymes. I'm not talking digestive enzymes. That's certainly important. I'm talking about general enzymes, systemic enzymes, enzymes that are involved in the chemistry of the body. Now, we've talked a bit about enzymes. We had Troy Opperle on, who's an enzyme expert. We've had Victorious Kalvinskis on uh, for the last couple of weeks. We've had these, both of these guys on talking about the importance of enzymes. We're going to continue talking about the importance of enzymes. In my opinion, again, our enzyme-less, i.e. dead food diets, are a leading cause, if not the leading cause, of our health and disease crisis. If you wonder why, over the last 100, 150 years, our health has gone down the tubes, down the toilet, we're sicker and sicker and sicker than ever before, even though we got more brilliant doctors than ever before. If you're wondering what, that, uh, what to attribute that to, you can, pretty much, you can pretty much assume that enzymeless food have a lot to do with it. Over the last 150 years, we figured out, through food processing, how to, how to keep food stable, shelf stable, by removing the enzymes. That's what a processed food is. It's a food that doesn't have enzymes in it. So enzyme supplementation, I'm not just talking about digestive enzymes. And, and certainly there's, digestive enzymes are important. The ultimate enzymes from longevity are super duper important. But enzyme supplementation, you're going to start to hear more and more about it. For overall health, enzymes are unbelievably important, systemic enzymes. If you're interested, you could find high-end systemic enzymes, and by the way, gluten digesting enzymes at brightsidehealthproducts.com. That's my, my uh, shopping cart, my, uh, I guess you say store, internet store. When I see good products, I want to be able to make them available. We've got the Bergamax up there, uh, up at brightsidehealthproducts.com. I've got an interesting energy weight loss, energy slash weight loss sublingual spray, and then also we've got some super high-end systemic enzymes, Brightside Health Products. Now, enzymes are important for sure. 
but hormones, now hormones are the signals that turn on the enzymes. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm fine. On the bright side, I am Farm Spen. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive page at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. Also, you can get uh, all the shows archived and, and searchable at brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can do that off brightsideben.com as well, or you can go to criticalhealthnews.com or... You can also go to pharmacistben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in participating in the longevity business, making some money selling longevity products and helping spread the word about the longevity products and the longevity philosophy of nutritional supplementation for good health, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, you can go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so enzymes are important, clearly. They are the life. And enzymeless food is a big, big problem. That's why sprouts, which are loaded with enzymes, vegetables, which are loaded with enzymes, are such important and healthful foods. But as important as enzymes are, hormones are actually the signals that initiate the production of the enzymes so that the work can be done. The, hormo the hormones turn on the production of the enzymes. Yes, the enzymes are the work, the enzymes are the life, but the hormones are the arousers, the stimulators. In fact, the word hormone actually comes from the Greek term hormeo, which means arouse, or I arouse, I arouse to activity. That's what hormeo means. Hormones turn on, they arouse the enzymes, they wake up the enzymes. Enzymes are the action, hormones turn them on. They're both critical. These are the two most important activity chemicals in the body, the enzymes and the hormones. Enzymes do the work and the hormones turn them on. And by the way, what we call the mighty 90 essential nutrients are a kind of bridge between the hormones and the enzymes. They facilitate the hormones' ability to trigger the action. So the hormones, use the, the micronutrients, the essential, the mighty 90, what we call the mighty 90, to turn on the enzymes. It goes hormones, mighty 90, enzymes. The mighty 90 essential nutrients facilitate, improve, enhance the ability of the hormones to trigger the action in the production of the enzymes. With the exception of vitamins A and D, which are actually hormones themselves. That's a whole other story. But the B complex, vitamin C, vitamin K, and even to a certain extent vitamin E, as well as the essential fatty acids and the amino acids, these act to facilitate the activity of the hormones. Hormones are made in special cells called gland cells. Together, these gland cells make up the glands. You have two major type of glands that are producing hormones. You've got glands that secrete hormones into the digestive system as well as through the skin. Those are called exocrine, as an outside. Technically, the digestive tract is really outside the body, technically. That's kind of interesting. The digestive tract is actually, technically speaking, a tube within the body. It's not the body itself. It has to get uh, food and substances in the digestive tract have to be vetted by the intestines to get into the body. And that's a whole other story. So secretions into the digestive tract, digestive juices uh, specifically, and secretions outside the body through the sweat glands specifically, those are called exocrine glands and exocrine hormones. And for the most part, when we talk about hormones, we're not talking about these. We're not talking about the exo, exo, exo as an outside, exocrine secretions. When we talk about hormones, we're really talking about endocrine hormones. Endo meaning inside. Exo outside, endo inside. Endocrine, and by the way, crin always means hormones. C-R-I-N-E always means hormones. Biochemistry is kind of interesting. The language of biochemistry is kind of interesting because you can always tell what a substance is, or at least usually tell what a substance is, by its nomenclature, by its name. ACE, A-S-E at the end of a word, typically will mean an enzyme. Crin at the end of a word will typically mean a hormone. So exocrine, 
endocrine or inside hormones and outside hormones. The hormones we talk about all the time, those are endocrine hormones. We're, so what's the inside that we're referring to when we talk about endocrine? If exocrines are secreted outside the body, into the digestive tract, outside the skin,